the Sacramento Kings sent their star, DeMarcus Boogie Cousins, to New Orleans Pelicans in exchange for rookie Buddy Yield, Tyreek Evans, Langston Galloway, and a couple of draft picks. Mike, who do you think, out of the teams involved in that trade, got the better end of the deal? I think that New Orleans did, but I don't think it's as lopsided as people are making out to be. No question. There's no question at all that Sacramento came away with some egg on their face with this situation. They had an opportunity to make a better out trade before this was done. They didn't. However, um, you know, you did get some talent here. I, I think Tariq Evans, Tariq Evans, who in my eyes has been a bust throughout his career, you're bringing him back to Sacramento, but he'll give you something. He'll give you some energy. Langston Galloway, I'm not so sure what he's going to be able to provide. And Buddy Heald, I mean, the thing with him is that that I just don't see the, the, the star power that other people think that they're going to get from him. But Sacramento, you really had to push this button and get rid of Cousins. Now, from the New Orleans standpoint, I don't think that New Orleans really made off like bandits here. Here's a guy in DeMarcus Cousins who has more uh, potential than anybody, and he has had a very successful NBA career. But there are times where the guy can become a head case, both in the locker room and with the media, constantly arguing with referees, constantly arguing with opponents, constantly arguing with the media. So I'm not so sure sure that New Orleans, who has not won a game yet with DeMarcus Cousins, is really sitting so pretty in this in this situation. Well, I think New Orleans got the better end of the deal. Um, Sacramento, say what you will about DeMarcus Cousins, he was considered widely one of the best big men in the game. And I think, from my perspective, they got about 50 cents on the dollar for him. And I, going into the trading um, arena, I, I'm sure that Sacramento knew they weren't going to get dollar for dollar for what you mentioned with the off the field antics. But I would have hoped that they would have gotten more. And the fact that they turned down a better deal is ridiculous to me. So I, that's why I think that they really just got the worst end of the stick. And while uh, New Orleans did get better. It, I don't think the Cousins trade is was an instant playoff. You know, wasn't going to instantly put them in the playoffs or in contend contention for a uh, championship. But it did bring them closer, a little bit closer. They still have a lot of work to do to get the pieces around uh, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins to really begin to feel the impact of such that trade. And I think in, in terms of, you know, DeMarcus and his off-the-field issues, look, I've been in the workforce a long time, and there are people that you just, their personalities are just terrible. You don't want to work with them, but they're really great at what they do. So you don't necessarily throw the baby out with the bathwater. Is that the right way to say that? <laughs> but so it just becomes a challenge and actually test a coach and see how good they are and when you get somebody like Cousins because it's about managing him and how to and how to effectively do that to get the best out of him without stifling what makes him really great.